This is Highfield's new Sport 390, and it sits in the lineup right between the 360 and the 420. But dimensionally, it's a little bit closer to the 420. And if you do have the space on your swim platform, this is definitely a worthy upgrade over the 360. And right off the bat, you can see just how much space there is on this 390. It's got a wider beam. You don't get this walkthrough on the 360. You get a nice wide bench seat, of course, but you don't get the console seat on the 360 either. In fact, you get the seat that blocks this walkthrough on the 360. All the sport models have these wide bench seats, and you can just see how nice the upholstery is on these models. An optional sun pad is available from the factory with exactly the same premium upholstery. With the 390, you also get those 19-inch tubes, just like the 420 and the 460, which gives you that load capacity and an option for more horsepower. In fact, on this little 390, it's rated for up to 60 horsepower, and I've never driven a boat this small with a 60 on it. The 390 also gets the larger console from the 420, which provides more space for a bigger chart plotter. And here we have a Raymarine 7 inch system. And that's a nice feature to have on a tender that you might consider exploring with. And all over these sport models, you can see the little attention to detail, not just in the upholstery and the stitching, but the carbon fiber accents on the dash, and even these push button switches, which are all LED backlit. All of the sport models come with the EVA foam flooring as standard equipment, and these new LED courtesy deck lights. And one thing I really like about all the high field models in general is just how much storage you have. Check this out under the seat. It's not just a small cubby up front, it actually extends all the way to the back of the transom. And that, believe it or not, is quite rare on a small inflatable boat. And because this storage is above deck and the deck has floor drains, it is dry in there. And this is a nice touch, a 30 liter dry storage bag provided by Highfield with these boats. Now on the 390, with a console seat, you do get additional storage underneath. And of course, this is also held up with two gas struts. Now there's a little bit of storage in here and that's where the battery is, but it's also convenient access to the dash panel in case you want to add more electronics down the road. Now 390, like other sport models, has a built-in fuel tank, which is nice because you get a remote external fill, but you also get a bit bigger tank. And here we have an eight gallon or 30 liter tank fixed in the bow of the boat. Now on a small tender like this, having the fuel distributed in the bow does help offset the weight of the engine at the stern. And like all sport models, there's a really nice flat padded bow step up front. The navigation lights are split and they're recessed, so they're flush mount. And the cleats are also flush mount and there's one to either side. So just imagine you beach this thing and you wanna slide off the bow, there's no cleat that you have to slide over top of. This attention to detail extends to the hull itself. For example, toe points are welded to the hull and have hardened inserts to protect the softer aluminum from rigid steel toe hooks. External plates are welded on the transom so that no holes need to be drilled through the hull when adding electronic transducers. They even weld on a drain plug holder so you can leave the drain plug out while trailering. Of course, Highfield only uses the more corrosion resistant marine grade aluminum in their powder coated hulls, but they still go through a chromating process before the powder is applied. Each sport model also gets a standard keel guard to help protect the paint. Highfield always builds a fairly beamy boat. This one's no exception at six feet, four inches wide. Normally when you offer 19 inch tubes, you sacrifice a lot of space in the interior. But because you got the extra beam, even with the big tubes, there's plenty of space. It's so easy to move fore and aft. Now one great thing about these sport models is you get what's called the Ocean Master Hull, which means you're not getting the flatter 15 degree dead rise, you're actually getting the deeper 20 degree dead rise, which provides a ton of ride comfort. Now the downside can be a little form instability, but not with these big 19 inch tubes. These guys hold this boat very stable in the water. Something that's surprising about this boat is how it handles. And talk about handling all the time. It's a short, small, inflatable boat. So of course it's gonna react very quickly. But it doesn't do anything crazy. It doesn't cavitate the prop when you turn the wheel. It's smooth, but it's really, really responsive. Just check out how this thing turns even at low speed. <laughs> Is that its own length? Pretty much and the big tubes keep you absolutely high and dry. The 60 is a lot of power for this boat, and these Tohatsus are very light. Check out how this 60 hole shots. 
At just 213 pounds, it is the lightest 60 available today. In fact, it's lighter than all 50s, well, except the Tohatsu, which is only 4 pounds lighter. This just means bolting on a 60 won't mess up the balance of the hull. Bow rise is minimal, and I never lose sight of the horizon. You should be able to load up this boat without turning it into a tug. But more importantly, the 60 is just so much fun. And another thing I really like is this big 420 console. It's wide enough for a big seven inch GPS chart plotter but you also get to keep all the analog gauges for quick reference on tack or fuel. If it picks up, I always want to stand up and get off the seat. And this just makes it so easy. Everything about this boat is just so solid. You know, I tend to rave about high fields, but that's because I drive a lot of inflatable boats. And honestly, the one I come back to all the time, the one that I want to get my wallet out and spend my money on, always a high field. You get a boat that's comfortable, plenty of room for seven people, four dedicated seats, a ton of storage, and ride comfort is good for four or five hours of touring. Plus, with the 60, 